Yo, what up guys? Mike here, owns pressure washing. Alright, so I'm going to do a quick walk around. Well, I'm going to try and make it detailed, so let me hop up in here. I'm backed in my, uh, so I'm charging my uh, deep cycle battery right now that uh, powers my 12 volt. Alright, so actually, yeah, it's pretty much full, but anyway, so. I got a Titan stack hose, Titan hose reel stacked up. All right, they're not plumbed. I got my high pressure line on that one, and I got my uh, what would you call that? Curie Tech Blue. I got from Lori Smith. Uh, good deal from her. And then what I went ahead and I just kind of rigged up. A little platform to put this reel on that's my uh, fill line flexzilla all right and then I goes into my tank I got a Hudson float valve here um, 275 gallon tank right here is my uh, predator I built that myself well I assembled it so it's a predator 670 I think it was with a coupon 675 then I got a two-year no question asked warranty if something goes down on this I just bring it back they give me a new one no questions asked I got this pump from Russ Johnson it is a TSF 2021 all right so you know it wasn't too hard to assemble but you know you have to have a kind of an idea what you're doing all right it's got a external gas tank pretty simple got that on Amazon altogether this uh, unit with the stuff from Russ with the belt guards the skid the pump you know and all the plumbing inch and a half non crushable uh, hose here right there it was about and the warranty and all that it was about two grand maybe a little more but you know pretty simple this right here is a 2.1 soft wash pump I don't really use it I guess just as backup but this is my uh, lift this up that's my five and a half uh, Delavan right here it works pretty good I mean and then you got your inlet coming up to my proportioner that our metering system that I built pretty simple sh water soap all right it comes out and I have it on a band a line on the banjo and like I said I don't plumb my reel so I just pull the hose and connect it at the end it's good for priming too that way so it works for me man you know Pretty simple so that's all it is back here thank god because oh I'm killing myself back here all right so there's not much room in the front either but I'm gonna show you everything I got it's messy so all right so let's see here let me get this uh, flashlight maybe that will help all right so I got chemicals here. I got brushes back there. I got, uh, let's see, can you see? Um, the green one's awesome. It's one of those uh, gutter brushes. I got it from, I think Lori, actually, Lori Smith. That blue cobweb brush works good. There's a yellow stiff one back there. I got my surface cleaner, Whisper Wash Classic, a little leaf blower, and I got, you know, extension poles, another brush over there. Uh, some other poles a couple brushes they're important extensions for my uh, guns right there got my hat this thing's a lifesaver uh, respirators this one's good I got this one from Mark uh, Mark Carrero if you're on the Facebook pages you know him he's actually local to me but he's a cool dude um, just some miscellaneous stuff Gilmore gun Oh, if you've seen the video I uh, made a couple weeks back, this thing right here 
is I can tap into uh, those test clocks. And then this goes to my garden hose. So if I get bad flow, I can hook up to the test clock. All right, so right here is a 55 gallon drum of SH. I'm about half full. Tomorrow when I go to do a roof, I'll probably fill it up just to be safe, you know? Around here in Florida, it's 97 cents a gallon and I can fill it up in minutes. I, I think at this one place, I can fill it up in a minute. It's real thick, real thick hose. So it like shoots out of it. Anyway, so what I do is, like I said, with my metering system up there, I uh, pull these drop tubes out and oh shit. what I do is I drop this in the chlorine like that boom when I drop it in there then that one line's pulling from the bleach when I'm done I drop it back in the water and rinse the system out I don't have anything hard plumbed yet. Um, I got the stuff too hard plumb, but haven't done it yet because um, I don't know. I just think it's cool the way I have it. You know, it's pretty simple. It takes two seconds when I'm done washing the roof. I just take it from the chlorine tank and I drop it in my water. Simple, you know, just drop it from here, put it into the 275, rinses everything out, boom. My soap line comes out right here. And what I like about this is I have it on a drop tube. This right here is Red Raider. And then this, this one right here is a Snotmanade. So like when I'm doing flat work, I'll drop it in the Red Raider when I'm soft washing. And it helps get that, that grime up. And when I'm doing roofs, I'll drop it in the uh, Snotmanade. And that, like I said, that goes through my metering system. And who knows, maybe if I needed to do some kind of degreaser through it, I can put the drop tube in that. So, um, I'm trying to think what else I can show you guys on here. Uh, yeah, some more chemicals. Oh, I got a downstream tank. I, I think I'm going to get rid of it because basically I set up one of those dual barb injectors so I got one line going into my big bulk tank of bleach and the other one I drop in my snotmanade bucket so this way I can keep everything separate I don't have to do any mixed tanks at all so I got myself one of those dual barb injectors and I'm good to go um, pressure tech sample uh, kit there I got some couple guns right here you know some what do you call them? Stutner. Stutner. Uh, some mixing cups, ball valves. Oh, there's the dual barb injector. Right here. Boom. So one line can go to my bulk bleach. One line goes to my soap. And then on my soap line, I have one of these little ball, ball valves. So I can kind of, you know, dial it in a little bit. Um, let's see. I got a gutter hook. Oh, this thing's pretty badass. These things, Home Depot has them. You can squeegee uh, like tongue and groove wood ceilings, stuff like that. You don't want to have water sitting on there. You can squeegee it off, put it on a pole. You know, put it on a pole right there. Squeegee it off, you're good. I got a gutter hook over here. I haven't even used it yet. Um. I got this at the chlorine supply. It's called Apple Up. It's a, a cover scent. It smells just like Apple Wash. Got some LA Awesome in here. This hat's badass. I already said that. My guns. Uh, I got some pump ups down here. I got three different pump ups. One's for rust removal for my oxalic. One I keep bleach in. One I keep Red Raider in. So that bucket is waterproof i have chemicals in there i got bulk uh oxalic and then the other one back there i got bulk uh sodium hydroxide and then another one i have back there i got uh lawn line 
online helps if you if you feel like you kind of got too much chemical on a bush and you rinse it down really well you can throw some lime and the lime will uh, lower the pH help uh, neutralize and then I got one more thing to show get my ladders up there I got a 30 footer and uh, 21 something like that All right, so I got some huck boots. I had them for about a year now. They're holding up pretty good. You know, they're ripping here, but my feet stay dry. I got some shopping bags to cover up outlets, some gloves, uh, aluminum brightener, some F9, groundskeeper, uh, buttle, snotmanade, red raider, Hats, trash bags to cover up gutters, plastic, zip ties to cover, help zip tie gutters together. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's everything in my trailer. Uh, this is a BD200, it's buttle and sodium hydroxide, hot mix for my degreaser, you know, and I got Red Raider for a mild degreaser. But yeah, so um, that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I got miscellaneous stuff everywhere, but uh, that's pretty much it. It works for me. I got a sludge sucker back there. Those things are badass. Uh, some window cleaning stuff right here. Just, you know, some squeegees and nothing, nothing crazy. Just when customers ask if I do windows, when I'm already doing a house wash or something, I say yes. Once I have the house wash sold and they're asking if I do windows, I just kind of add a couple, you know, at least 150 bucks, something like that, depending, you know, and then going up from there and, you know, they say, no, great, I'll just do the house wash, but I don't like doing windows, it takes forever, so I kind of charge a lot, and if they say yes, great, but anyway, that's it, guys, um, if you have any questions, hit me up. Um, that's it, man. Wash on. Take care, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. Take care.